Former Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, Chief Richard Akinjide, is dead. He died early hours of Tuesday. The 88-year-old legal icon died in his Ibadan Oyo State home. The spokesperson of the University College Hospital Ibadan Toye confirmed that Mr. Akinjide was brought dead to the hospital. And joining us via Skype is human rights lawyer and senior advocate of Nigeria, Femi Falono, to speak on that. Good afternoon, Mr. Falono. Good afternoon. And it's good to have you uh, this afternoon. Now, Thank in you. remembrance of the legal icon, uh, what, will, what will the legal mind be most remembered for, in your opinion? Well, Chief Richard Akinjide was a thoroughbred legal practitioner. His knowledge of law and economics was deep, as well as history. Uh, even though he was much younger, when he returned to the country in 1955 uh, from England, um, I mean, he was barely 23 at the time. But before long, he had registered his presence in legal practice that was then dominated by local and foreign lawyers. Uh, he handled cases of... Uh, constitutional importance. For instance, in 1967, when the Gowan regime detained a prominent lawyer in Ibadan, uh, Alaiji Mojida Kinjam Agbaje, who was then the lawyer of the Agbe Koya farmers uh, movement that uh, gave the military a lot of uh, trouble in the West. Chief Richard Akinjede was the lawyer, and he won that case before the late Honorable Justice Akinla Agoda. That case, Alaiji Mojid Agbaja and Commissioner of Police has remained the local classicals in the area of Abbas Corpus uh, in Nigeria. Of course, he became prominent when he handled the election petition in 1979 in the case of Chief of Abhimi Awolo and Alaiji Shewushagari, and that was when he acquired, acquired the uh, alliance of. Uh, Mr. 12 to Thorn, because that was the argument he propounded in the case that 12 to Thorn states, I mean, uh, the votes won by Alaji Shehu Shagari in 12 to Thorn states, as opposed to 13 states, you know, uh, qualifying to be declared the president of Nigeria. And the Supreme Court uh, accepted the argument. Of course, as Attorney General in the Second Republic and Minister of Justice, and that is between 1979 and 1983. He appeared in every important constitutional uh, case in the country. So when you read the Nigeria Constitutional Law Reports, edited by Chief Ganifa Emi, Chief Richard Akinjide's name occupies a prominent place in those collections. Of course, he was a bourgeois lawyer who believe in the sustenance of the status quo. And uh, in that area, we had cause to clash in a couple of cases, you know, but clearly uh, he, was, he was a very industrious lawyer. He was audacious. He was also sagacious. Because clearly we're going to miss him. Because he, believe, he belonged to the old generation of lawyers who believe in law for the sake of law. Hmm. Talking about and he was a lawyer who never believed in cutting corners to win cases. Mm -hmm. Talking about lawyers <laughs> of old generations, uh, sorry if I may interject you, so, uh, talking about lawyers of old generations, what legacy should young lawyers emulate from his life? I beg your pardon, can you come again? I'm saying what legacies should young lawyers emulate from his life? Well, his industry, his commitment to legal practice, his defense of the rule of law, his defense of democracy, and of course his uh, total dedication uh, to the development of uh, law in our country. He was also involved in the politics of the bar. So he also believed that the Nigerian Bar Association should be organized in a way that it can remain, you know, a defender of the rule of law and human rights in our country. Okay. So for these reasons, we are going to miss him. Right. 
All right, let's talk about the situation that we are in now, which is COVID-19. Should he be alive? How concerned do you think he would be with current efforts to fight uh, COVID-19? Well, the efforts um, are noted, but they are not sufficient. I mean, for instance, Nigeria has barely uh, tested 8,000 people. Ghana has done over 60,000. Ghana is about the size of Lagos. So we are worried that if the um, lockdown is lifted next week, next Monday, we will not have um, tested 10,000 people. It's very, very frustrating, very disappointing. And for me, this is the area where the government has to redouble its efforts. Secondly, the government will have to be consistent and avoid double standards in handling this very dangerous pandemic uh, 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 situation, crisis. If I may ask you, what do you mean when you say double standard? Now, uh, unfortunately, we just lost the chief of staff to the president, Mr. Abakiari. He was allowed by the NCDC, the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, to go to a private hospital for treatment, a hospital that is not equipped to treat those who are COVID-19 positive. He ought to have been taken to an isolation center, and that is the rule prescribed by the NCDC and the PTF. And of course, you are also aware that certain hospitals have been closed down, at least four in Lagos, for treating people without authorization, for treating COVID patients, COVID-19 patients without authorization. So why are that hospital not be closed down? Secondly, uh, social distancing has been prescribed. That was not witnessed at the burial ceremony organized by the federal government for uh, the late chief of staff. Now, those who attended the ceremony, public officers that attended the ceremony, have been barred from the villa, from the presidential villa. They have been asked to go and isolate. But are they all isolated? Is anybody moving, I mean, monitoring their isolation prescribed for them? So we have a problem here. We have unauthorized hospitals are secretly treating COVID-19 patients. And that is not good for the staff of such hospitals, as well as other patients. So we're already in trouble in the double standards being employed by the government to fight this monstrous disease. Thank you so very much for your time. That's what we are able to take now. Stay safe, sir. Thank you very much. My pleasure.